Like the 1976 Genesis album A Trick of the Tale, the British band's first studio record fronted by Phil Collins, the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport signals a subtle but noteworthy change to the Korean luxury brand's ethos. Charged with injecting a dose of dynamism and style into the G80 midsize luxury sedan, the Sport aims to challenge the likes of the BMW 540i and the Cadillac CTS V Sport. Like those cars, the G80 Sport employs a forced induction six-cylinder engine. Displacing 3.3 liters, the twin-turbocharged V6 is exclusive to the Sport trim and makes 365 horsepower. Its output is sent to the rear wheels by way of an 8-speed automatic transmission. All-wheel drive is a $2,500 option, with a base price of $56,225. The G80 Sport occupies the space between the entry-level $42,725 G80 3.8, with its 311 horsepower 3.8-liter V6, and the $57,975 G80 5.0 which is motivated by a 420 horsepower 5.0 liter V8 in too deep despite its 55 horsepower disadvantage compared with its V8 counterpart the G80 Sport bettered the previous Hyundai badged 5.0 liter version of the car in almost every acceleration test we conducted the nearly lag free twin turbo V6 helped hustle the Sport from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.9 seconds from 5 to 60 miles per hour in 5.5 seconds, and through the quarter mile in 13.5 seconds at 105 miles per hour minus 0.1 second ahead of the V8 model in each measure. The G80 Sport's passing times were equally impressive, with our test car sprinting from 30 to 50 miles per hour in 2.7 seconds, 0.1 second quicker than the V8 and from 50 to 70 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds, matching the V8. Credit the 376 pounds to foot of torque that's available at a low 1,300 revolutions per minute and hold steady until 4,500 revs. The V8 doesn't dole out its maximum of 383 pounds to foot until 5,000 revolutions per minute. Nevertheless, the G80 sports hefty, 4,500-pound curb weight prevents this sedan from keeping pace with the BMW 540i and the Cadillac CTS V Sport, which are each more than 400 pounds lighter. With less mass to push, the BMW needed just 4.7 seconds to get to 60 miles per hour and 13.2 seconds to complete the quarter mile. The similarly svelte Caddy hit 60 miles per hour in just 4.5 seconds and ran the quarter in 12.9. The prodigious poundage and all-season rubber, we'd expect a performance tire option on a vehicle wearing a sport badge, also hindered this G80's lateral acceleration and braking. Fitted with a set of staggered width 19-inch Continental Pro Contact TX tires, 245-40 up front and 275-35 at the rear, the G80 Sport recorded a modest 0.84 grams around our 300-foot skid pad and ate up 179 feet of tarmac on its way to a complete stop from 70 miles per hour that's 0.02 grams less and 12 feet longer than the 2015 V8 model on all-season tires. In spite of its middling skid pad performance, the sport's adaptive dampers noticeably improve the car's ride and handling balance relative to its G80 kin. The suspension enhancements rein in body motions without sacrificing ride comfort, making the G80 Sport less floaty than its siblings. That said, this car lacks the nimble reflexes, communicative controls, and general driving engagement of the CTS V Sport and the Jaguar XFS. <laughs>